Let us begin. Yes, welcome to the Level 7 Podcast. Level 7 Podcast, uh, number four. Yep. Numero. Quattro. 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 I, I had to start saying it in my head. I He's was like, like uh, uh, uno, dos. uno, dos, tres. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all right. I See got you. <laughs> Exa- what? That was the only way I could remember seven, was oh. see Yeti. See Yeti. Yeah, so okay. see Yeti. Okay. I know, it's ridiculous, but it helped. I guess that makes sense. Okay, I've just never even heard it pronounced that way, That, but it makes sense, like, phonetically. Okay. I like it. All right. Sweet. All right. All so, right. uh... Tangents. <laughs> what in the hell are we talking about today? I don't know. We're talking... <laughs> <laughs> um... Uh, I mean... We could talk about the fact that Doom Eternal is finally coming out for the Nintendo Switch. I mean, that's good. Hopefully it runs well. Because, I mean, that's, that's a game where frames matter. Yeah. And I don't, I don't know how the hell they even got 2016 Doom to run on the Switch. That was weird. That was, it, it was weird. It was <laughs> just sorcery. I don't know. Bethesda, Bethesda does some cool stuff, though. Because, well, I mean, I mean, Bethesda owns it. But I'm saying they got Wolfenstein on the Switch. That's true. And yeah, it's just some crazy wizardry going on there. But apparently, the thing that the only thing that pisses me off about it being on the Switch is that it's only digital. Oh, so is it just going to be like a code? Yeah. Well, oh. no, it's not. Even, you're not even going to get a case for it. It's just on the store, and that's it. Ah. Like, which I mean, why make a case for something if it just has a code in it anyway? But you know, I mean, they do it. I know they, they do, do it. it. It's they crazy, it. but and people buy them. I mean, I don't anymore. Like, for a while we were getting those in, and then it just, it was too, it was too confusing. It just didn't, it doesn't make sense. It really doesn't. So, <laughs> that, that was all I really wanted to say about Doom Eternal. It's coming on Switch, and it's not a physical copy. All right. Well, it makes me sad. Uh, let's hope it runs good. And yeah. And that everyone enjoys a great time playing demons on the Switch. Dude, um, yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't know. What did we talk back? What did we talk about in the podcast? I don't have the the actual transcript in front of me. Um. Well, we could the... could always talk about the uh, the Nintendo hackers next. Ah. Yes. Yes. We can go into greater detail. Uh, where apparently this team executor, which is hilarious that they decided to call themselves that, and now they're caught. Executor. No like... executor. Oh, I thought you were talking about the Pokemon. No. No. <laughs> no. Not that. Oh. Okay. Uh. But yeah, a couple of them got caught, uh, and man, it's just, it's really weird to try to describe what the hell they were doing. I mean, they were just essentially like jailbreaking the Switch and do it, making it so people can uh, do things they're not supposed to do with it, right? I well, mean, there you go. You just explained it. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Sorry, we're, oh man. What? I don't know. I'm just very disorganized tonight. No, I mean, I think, I, I, I don't think it matters. Like, we're just having a conversation, but it's, uh, you know, I, I think, I think it's interesting that Nintendo, like, continues to pursue, you know, legal action against, against these, these people who essentially are, like, innovating for them. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, uh, somebody Mario made Maker. Mario, yeah, Mario Maker for them, and they're like, hey, you stop that. That's a good idea. Let's Gr- use it. That's a great idea. Whoa. I mean, honestly, it's genius. Let the let the community and innovate then, for you, right? Like you know, and then uh, just keep snatching them up, and, and then throw just them snatch back. it up and be like, "Well, shit." I mean, you should have. You made it. Might as well use it now that you're Nintendo Guantanamo. Nintendo Guantanamo. Nintendo. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I heard Barack. I heard Barack Obama closed Nin. Tuanamo Bay. <laughs> <laughs> all lies. <laughs> fake news. <laughs> we know all about fake news. Believe us. Uh, uh, but, I mean, I, I, I'm interested in the kind of, like, jail time. Like, the actual... So, they got sentenced to, what, three years? Yeah, two of them got sentenced to three years. I got a bunch of other stuff about maybe one of them being, like, a teenager. Oh. So, okay. they were, like, kind of softly like oh this is weird why'd you make us do this now you're gonna have to be in trouble but not really and then they found child pornography on his computer so now he's really in trouble it's like oh you're a piece of human shit let's uh let's put you somewhere 
Okay. Well, you know that uh, that escalated quickly. It really did. <laughs> I I, like, I think I love hacking the Nintendo, and also other terrible, awful things. Yeah. It's like wow. That I f- and I like I said I, I don't know if that was the right people though because you know you look up Nintendo hacker and you get like eight thousand results. So mm, mm. I'm I'm I think he's one of them because originally we were hearing that three of them got caught and prosecuted, but then the more I read, I could only find two of them that got prosecuted. One of them was something Bowser. I was like, how many freaking people have the name Bowser? There's a lot of people named Bowser in the world, apparently. apparently. Yeah. All of you people, come forward. We need, to, we need to know everything about you. Will the real Bowser please stand up? Chicky, huh? chicky. No. <laughs> um, I, I don't know. I think, it's, I think it's interesting. I think that it sets a, a, a precedent that Nintendo keep setting that they're like quit quit fucking quit messing with our stuff right you'd think people would have learned by now but they really haven't like no no one they just keep coming out as like oh yeah this dude used the switch to uh to kill a guy and now <laughs> nintendo's angry about it he turned his switch into a boomerang <laughs> and killed a koala on accident he was trying to kill a kangaroo yep inside of the san diego zoo <laughs> <laughs> he was the zookeeper. The he Nintendo just... Switch is a very, very dangerous console. Indeed. Mm. You heard that they've uh, actually started discontinuing the Switch docks in Europe. I don't understand what that means. Like the dock, like you used to be able just to buy the dock for the Nintendo Switch, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. now in Europe, they've discontinued them. Yeah, but the, I mean. I feel like those haven't been, like, readily available for a long time. I mean, I've never even seen one, like, in the wild. Yeah, like, there's... in a box, like, oh, here's a Nintendo Switch dock. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't come off often. And, I mean, like, having a second dock, like, people do want a second dock to just be able to hook up to their second TV, but I don't know. I, I mean, I never needed it. Hey, what are you going to do? I also kind of forgot I had a Switch for there there for a, a, a month or two. Yeah. They need to put more stuff on it. I mean, they've had a pretty steady... I mean, I, it, there's just nothing that's like that I want to play right now. Like I, don't, I guess that's true. I'm not, I'm not into the... Like, the Age of Calamity looks interesting, I think. Um, but I, I don't know. The, the whole, like, Tecmo, Koi, like, Dynasty Warriors... Style just doesn't really capture my attention, and and I guess maybe I haven't given the uh, the game enough of a chance, and I'm just kind of assuming what it is without playing it. I mean, I have, <laughs> but I don't know. I just ugh, I don't know. You know, a game I'm assuming is going to be freaking awesome, Cyberpunk. Ooh, next Thursday. I ugh. and then you know what comes out tomorrow? Today's Wednesday. Um, tomorrow is the Immortals Phoenix Rising game. Oh, yeah. One? Uh, the originally Gods and Monsters. Mm-hmm. Originally Gods and Monsters, and then, and then converted to Immortals Phoenix Rising, which is definitely a worse title. It is so hard to remember that title. Immortals. <laughs> Phoenix Rising? Fe- is it, that what it is? Is, that- is it? I don't even think it's, it's not like regular Phoenix either. It's like F-E-X. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Immortals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Phoenix Rising. Okay, yeah, okay. yeah, I got it, I got it. So yeah, there you go. We're so sure of the name, we but had to double check. But it's it's spelled F-E-N-Y-X. That is... That is some wackadoo shit going on right sick. there. That is sick. And so what it is, is it's a, uh, what, it's a Greek mythology... Yes. Open world, like, yes. Hack and slash. So it's like if, yes. I I, I heard <laughs> comparisons to like Breath of the Wild, and it's like apparently Ubisoft's attempt at that 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 game, that like genre of game. And I mean they've been doing the open world thing for a billion years, but it's like right. I, mean, I don't. I Assassin's guess it has like Creed. shrines and stuff like Breath of the Wild. Oh. Uh, where there's actually like. Small dungeons that have puzzles and shit, like almost exactly, which is cool. I mean, I heard that the puzzles are actually better. I mean, that'd be good because yeah, the puzzles in Breath of the Wild were they not were, that great. was kid stuff. Yeah, it's it was like pretty where good. does the boulder go? 
In that it. giant boulder hole. There's a boulder <laughs> hole right there with an arrow. Oh, man. That puzzle was so hard to figure out. That was like, I don't know. For me, that was the thing. Like, Breath of the Wild was like, I don't want to I don't want to get carried away on this again. The combat I mean, was all right, <laughs> but it's like, oh, my God. The puzzles were easy. Yeah, the hardest part about the puzzles was the damn gyroscope control. Mm. Remember that fucking ball that you had to, like, wooden maze your way through it? And you're yeah, like, it was, awful. it was awful. I mean, whatever. But, yeah, I mean, still, good game. I would love to see that uh, that formula improve, though, like, greatly. Because I really did, like, I, I understand people love Breath of the Wild, but I really did think it could have been a lot better. So, just the fact that people are making more like it is cool. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, you got to start somewhere. Breath of the Wild gave it a hell of a start, but I want to see where it can go. Right. Yeah, totally. No, I, I I agree. And I mean, like, what the... I don't know. What was it? it was open-ended, open-world game, which... I don't know. What... I mean... Besides the fact that you could, like, climb rocks and shit. Like, what did Breath of the Wild... Really do different? Yeah. I think it was just the fact that there were puzzles it was like, instead it was of different... just shooting stuff. It was like, it wasn't a different kind of game. It was just a different kind of Zelda game. Yeah. It's like... Pretty much. You can climb a mountain and when then it rains. Not unless it rains. Oh, it rains. Fucking rain. Oh. <laughs> the rain. Um, I'm not going to lie, though. The whole Immortal Phoenix Rising, I thought, looked a lot better on the uh, release trailer when it was still Gods and Monsters. Yeah, I mean. I feel like they, they dumbed it down a lot. Like, it looked like it was going to originally be like a $60 full price release. And now it's like, what, 40 on release? I don't think so. I think it's a. Isn't it? Well, I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't. Let's let's look it up. Let's. I mean, I don't think so. I think it's a full release, dude. Is it? Is it really? No, I. That's just what I saw last. So I'm going off. I mean, of I could, two I could, day old information from my brain. I could but, be wrong. So it's sixty dollars on the PS5, which is technically a budget title. Right. So oh, see, I was looking at the PS4 version. I think the PS4 version of it is even less. Bucks. Okay. Yeah. Is it forty dollars though? I think let's so. See. No, it's sixty. Sixty. All right, never mind. I'll so, shut up. I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it's <laughs> the game but I, mean, I really need to get for my PS5 though is Man Eater. <laughs> yeah, now that's a forty dollar game. That there's a budget title, right? <laughs> um, and I'm serious. I really do want that one. I haven't played it yet, and I mean, sharks. Let's do this. Yeah, the Switch version is sixty dollars as well. Just to confirm. Man, yeah. crazy. I don't know where the hell I saw it for forty dollars then, because I know I saw it. And I was like, that makes sense that it's a budget title now because it doesn't look like a full price title. See, I don't know. Like, all the reviews that I've read and, and everything kind of stayed otherwise. Like, Well, I mean, not like it makes it worse. I just thought, like, the visuals were, the like, f- watchdog differences. Like, where they showed it and you're like, oh, that looks gorgeous. And then you played the game and you're like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Because that's exactly what the gameplay looks like in Immortals Phoenix Rising to me. Like, I saw the gods and monsters. I was like, that looks amazing. I want to play that. And then I saw the gameplay and I was like, never mind. Yeah. I mean, look, I I hear that it is a bit stripped down as far as like even... Because it's a Ubisoft game. Yeah. So, I mean, it's Assassin's Creed plus Zelda. So, I think they're going for more of like a whimsical, maybe even like... Maybe an easier experience. Maybe maybe it is like right. aimed at more I mean, of a casual audience. And I'm not mad at that or anything. I'm just saying like it just Look, I'm saying the original trailer like clearly blew you away it, where it did not blow me away. I thought the original trailer was like, Oh cool, it looks like Breath of the Wild. Oh, see, I'm just looking at Amazon. Amazon's what messed me up. It's at fifty on Amazon. Okay, well, now you can all know that you can buy games cheaper on Amazon than at Level 7 Games. I'm sorry. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, But, ah, shit. Well, you know what? I'm going to stop talking. Um, But, no, it's like... (gasps) At least least that's confirmed now. (laughs) Uh, Dang it. Yeah, I'm just, I'm trying to look at, like, actual gameplay because... Like the grass in the first trailer. It's grass. It's a pre-rendered cutscene. It wasn't even like... I know, It was like, here's a teaser of some grass. 
grass. <laughs> and you're like, oh, this grass melts my... <laughs> I mean, the grass kind of looked like that in Breath of the Wild. Oh. I shouldn't have said that so loud. That was loud as balls. <laughs> <laughs> balls, if you didn't know, are extremely loud, especially on hot summer days. But yeah, I mean, Breath of the Wild, like, looked impressive. This looks like it's even, like, Breath of the Wild came out after it a little bit. Like the gameplay does now. But I mean, whatever. Like I said, eh, well, I don't know if I said it yet, but not that graphics really equal good game. If it looks amazing, it's a good game. That's just fact. But it's not. It always so, sucks when they advertise something and then you get something else. That is that is right. So that that's just my problem. I'm sure I'll end up playing it at some point. See, I'm not interested in playing it at all. To me, it looks. it, it never looked very good. It just no. looked like, uh, here's an, another open world... I mean, fantasy ish. They really got to find another time period besides, like, They're, Greek. Like, yeah, it's, all, it's Greek. Well, I mean, it's Greek or Vikings right now. I mean, f- yeah, now it's Vikings. Holy crap. Vikings are huge. You guys, calm down some. We get it. They made a show, and now God of War did it, so everybody else needs to. I mean,. I don't know. And then God of War, they're like, all right, here we go. They're just going to go down the pit. Let's just, let's just appropriate every culture. Not Hells that, yeah. <laughs> not that I like have a problem with that. I think it's, it's, it's whatever. Like they're going to, I mean, it's, it's, but it's like, that was like an obvious first one, but then you're like, Ooh, what are they going to do next? And how are they going to like, I, I, well, I don't know if this was just wishful thinking and I dreamt it or something, but I feel like somewhere I read that they might want to do Egyptian stuff next. Oh, that'd be. Which, God of War style, that'd be amazing. Yeah, but, I, don't, I mean, I guess you're gonna, we're going to run out of cultures. To, oh, yeah. Because it's like Assassin's Creed already did that, right? They did the, they yeah, they did, did Odyssey. Odyssey, which was the, the uh, Egyptian thing. But the mummy already did that on PlayStation 2, so. Oh, look at you go. Prince Take, Persia. Yeah, yeah. On see? Super Nintendo. Mother truckers. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's late to that party. <laughs> Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade on the NES. Oh. Uh... Was I'm that sh- Egyptian? There was a, there was, a, right? I don't know. Indiana, uh, I don't know. I mean, all just, Indiana Jones <laughs> things, except for the art, there, I guess. There's just Nazis everywhere. There's just so many Nazis <laughs> all the time. So many freaking Nazis. All right. Whatever. Indy got them all. Uh, yeah, I'm going to turn this thing down, by the way, so that doesn't happen oh, again. Put, put down my book. That was dumb. Let's see. Uh... Wow, like I said, I'm really scatterbrained tonight. That's my bad. No, you're but fine. They, uh, what were the the scr- you know the actual thing that we covered on the news cast? I mean, next one that we covered was uh the pricey Mario three. Oh, at a hundred and fifty six thousand dollars. No thanks. Like goodness gracious. I don't know. I mean, it just doesn't make sense to me. I I get it. Col- I I don't know. It just doesn't make sense. That's too much. That's too much money for that. Yeah. Like and it, I guess who decides what's worth what? For me, that's too much for that item. Like obviously, like I don't have one hundred fifty six thousand dollars to throw at a single item to begin with. But if I did, it wouldn't be that. No, not not even close. Mm-mm. I'd pay. I'd pay you a hundred bucks. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. And I wouldn't resell it, and I'd open it in front of you, and you'd lose your shit. Mm, I'm not. I wouldn't. I am not. I mean, if it were that one specifically, no. Obviously, I wouldn't do that. But, like, every time I get games now, because I've gotten... I got a big bundle of uh, PSP games recently that were all brand new. Hmm. Tore open every one of them. Ooh. I mean... I mean, I, I'm, I don't... I'm not the kind of person that buys a game and leaves it. I like, mean, I, I get... Yeah, and, and the other thing is it's like... Do you have a collection of games, or do you have a collection of games that you intend on playing? Right. And all mine are getting played. Right. I, and I mean, for the people that collect those things... Cool. I mean, yeah, that's cool. I'm not saying you're doing it wrong. <laughs> but I would never pay that much for I w- Yeah, I, I wouldn't. Like, obviously. Like, nah. if I paid that to make Kevin Eastman my legal father, maybe, but... Mm. Uh, that would also pay off in the end if I ended up in his will. Then I get Ninja Turtle rights. <laughs> Everybody wins. Right? 
Everybody wins. This is the this is the scenario that we've all been waiting for. <laughs> oh man, I've dreamt so many times about this happening. <laughs> I get creative control over the Ninja Turtles. Let's make some shit happen. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, I, okay, no, I'm I'm really going down this Kevin Eastman dad thing is kind of what I'm, I think is actually more the dream here. Like, I mean, who doesn't want Kevin Eastman as their dad? Uh, I've never met the man, so, he, you know, what if he's abusive? I mean, he doesn't seem that way on the surface, but nobody does. There's a darkness inside of every man. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Shit. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know, dude. It's... It's insane. The, the the collectible market right now, the uh, the sealed stuff in particular is just I mean it's insane like what 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 people are looking for. Like the thing the dumbest games Yeah, you know, and don't get me wrong, this has always been like a general thing, right? So some bad games are worth a lot of money. Yeah. Mostly because they're rare. But now it seems like bad games are worth a bunch of money just because they're sealed. And then there's the whole, like, grading... Yeah, the whole grading craziness. business thrown on top of that. Which is... Which has just made everything go crazy, from trading cards to video games to condoms. Mm, yeah, no, I got my uh, Trojan uh, 22s. <laughs> Limited <laughs> what's edition the sm- 22s. What's the smallest <laughs> caliber? <laughs> 22. 22 seems good. <laughs> okay, yeah. The old pea shooter. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it even makes that sound when you open it. Just pew. Yep, exactly. <laughs> Just um, four in a normal size pouch. <laughs> right, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Every time. It's oh a my it's a it's a classic. Um But yeah, it, I, th- I think I do only have one sealed game that I just haven't opened yet. And that's uh, Beautiful Joe for some crazy ass reason. Well, you fa- you found that pretty recently, right? Yeah, it was like, like it was fifteen dollars, and I was like, I don't have the first one yet. I'm just gonna buy this and I'm gonna open it because I I had number two. You just haven't opened it yet. I just haven't opened it yet. But Did now you... seeing all this stuff, I'm I'm starting to think. All right, I'm just gonna sell this one, oh, buy so a used one. So now you're one of those guys. So well, now... I mean, I found it. I was gonna open it. And I just haven't gotten around to playing I'm it yet. I'm just kidding. No, you're dead you're serious. You're serious. You're making fun of me. <laughs> but yeah, now I'm looking at it. It's like 98 bucks sealed now. What? I'm not. Yeah. That thing keeps jumping up. I remember it last does. time we checked it, it was like, less. Yeah, it was 60 last time we checked it. And then I checked it the other day because I keep, you know, I keep upgrading my game list. So I just look through it every once in a while. And I'm like, holy crap, $98. I'm not opening opening this now. I mean, GameCube stuff is on fire. Like that, that whole that whole shit is just it's so hard to find anything. I know it's crazy, and there wasn't a lot to begin with. You know what I mean? Like the GameCube doesn't have like a, a an amazing catalog, so it's like what there is is hard to find. It's like Dreamcast stuff. Yep. Find a Dreamcast game somewhere, mm. anywhere. I love finding Dreamcast games. Mm. <laughs> Tell me where. Where? <laughs> where are they? <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, I don't know, man. Have you uh, have you been watching Mandalorian? <gasps> no. Oh. I really haven't. I think I watched the first episode of the second season. Okay. Because, I mean, I'm not going to say it's bad show or anything like that, obviously. Uh, I watched the first season. It took forever. Everybody's like, have you watched it yet? I'm like, I think I've watched two. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just that person. I don't know why. I'm terrible at keeping up with TV shows. It, it's difficult. It, it It's definitely something you have to try. Like, luckily, my wife is, you know, she's she's into, like, she's scheduled enough. She has a, a, a scheduled enough mind that she can mm-hmm. remember, like, hey, today is that day of the week where we're going to watch, we're going to do this thing. And I'm like, all right. I'm down. That's but nice. That's it's it's good. It's definitely like Monster of the Week, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, like oh damn, Firefly, like that's the whole vibe of that show, right? Like it sounds like my jam. Wacky adventures in space. Yep, it's cool with the hot lady American Gladiator. Mm-hmm. She hasn't been in it much this last season. Maybe one what? Episode? All right, never mind. Then I'm not watching it. Yeah, I don't I'm know. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's terrible. <You> <laughs> No, uh, 
I do. All I really vaguely remember about the first season is the dude with the black lightsaber walking up. Okay, yeah, that was uh, that was like the last episode. Yeah, and mm-hmm. Baby Yoda, which oh. of course everybody knows, Baby Yoda. I've never heard of this creature. Mm. Oh, do you mean it, the child? Excuse me. Is it called the child now? It's the. It's always been the child. Look Baby. At, I know. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you, like, Disney got mad that people are calling it Baby Yoda because it's not Yoda. Its name isn't Yoda. Its name is, like, Grib Glub or something. Well, I got a, a a special message for you, Disney. You can shove it straight up your ass. And they said it's the child. It's not Baby Yoda. Yoda's <laughs> dead. Luke killed him. That's the truth. That's what actually happened. Don't remind us. Fucking Luke. Okay. But... Yeah, whatever, Disney. You don't get to tell us what to think. You suck at doing your stuff anyway. Yeah, you suck at doing your stuff, Disney. Yeah. But you that's know exactly a- what I mean. <laughs> 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 okay, I am starting to actually see the child instead of all just Baby Yodas. Yeah, Baby Yoda was like a nickname for it, but it's yeah. like before they, they announced its name finally in this last episode, they gave it a name. Oh, shit. It's hit full-on stardom. There's a Chia pet, Baby Yoda. Or, my bad, The Child. The Child. Chia Pet. I was going to say, that's going to be confusing. That's how I reference my children all the time. <laughs> Hand me The Child. The one with the You're Like, don't talk about parts. it too loud. The child can hear you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> when you bring up C-A-N-D-Y. <laughs> and it's like, <laughs> like No, The Child. <laughs> can they know? It hears. <laughs> I'm never going to remember it's called The Child. Whatever, Baby Yoda. You deal with it. Whatever, whatever, baby, you fucking deal with it, baby Yoda. Yeah, get out of my face. Um, <laughs> get out of my face, baby Yoda. Being all cute, eating eggs. Just use the force already, damn it! Yeah, which, use the force, which he has, but it, it, she, he. Has it? Have they told us? I think it's a he. Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't know. It's a good show, but if you haven't watched it. It's hard to talk about it. Like I mean, I'm going to watch it. When you do, we'll talk about it. You Eventually. Know, th- it's just like, it's exactly what you expect. Like, Mandalorian's a badass. He gets put in a pickle. He has to get out of it by being a badass. And getting shot a lot. And then that's <laughs> then the whole fucking show is just an escort quest. I love those. I don't. It's just <laughs> Resident Evil 4 all over again. Leon! 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 Shut the fuck up! <laughs> And then you, yeah, whatever. <laughs> but, uh, uh, what was I thinking? Oh, I do love how he is a badass, but at the same time, like, he doesn't try to dodge anything. No, he just takes he shots. He just freaking takes it to the dome, and he's like, huh, well, I paid money for this armor. Well, yeah, well, and then you kind of find out that the armor, why the armor is so important in this last episode. Because, I mean, oh. I think, like, followers of the mythos will already know this, but the, the Beskar armor... You know, the, like, special armor that he gets in the first season? Yeah. Like, that armor can block lightsabers. Oh, damn. Yeah, so, like... That's dope. So, the guy, so there's, like, a whole thing where, like, the Mandalorians were at war with the Jedi. Now that I want to see. See, that sounds Dude, tight, right? I now, also want is, more is, Jedi shit. Yeah, I think this what? is all, like, pre-Republic, though. Because I think the Mandalorians had to, like, go into hiding mm. after... All that happened. I don't know. I don't. I. I... Somebody get Boba Fett on the phone. It's I got questions. Call Jango Fett now. I want to talk to his daddy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> daddy, tell me all history. And daddy, look out for Mace Windu. He's better than you are. Mm. Mm. Yeah, Mace Windu, man. Dude, Mace Window. Because remember, that's how he <laughs> fell out a window. Fucking Anakin. <laughs> what the? Oh, what a douche. He deserves so much better. What a douche. And he had the purple power. Right. And, oh, man, that we're just going off on a Star Wars thing, but that's fine. Uh, that just really made me super disappointed that Snoke was not Mace Windu. In uh, 7, 8, and 9. Or 7 and 8. Did he die in 8? He died in 8. He died in 8 because, yeah, Kylo kills him. <laughs> Whatever. I'm not gonna I want uh, I wanted to go down the whole Jar Jar Binks. Oh man. Being the Sith Lord. Like I was like, oh that's fuck Dude. that would be awesome. He's like, Misa are gonna kill you. <laughs> <laughs> you are gonna die for talking trash. <laughs> 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 Annie 
<laughs> Dude, hells yeah. I remember the first time I heard that, and I was like, he does not mutter words behind people while they're doing stupid things. And then, yeah, you go back, you watch those. He's pulling some Sith shit. That's a, dude, I can't believe they didn't run with that. That would have been so good. But then they would have had to, like, essentially they would have had to, like, somehow, like, flash back to the original movies and, I'm like, that. show that happening. It would... And I, I, <laughs> Superimpose I, him in a pond or something on... <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like, having to, like, flash back to the wacky shit going on in Naboo while you're, like, fighting... I, I don't know. It just... It would have been hard to be serious the and then droid also have Boss Nass going, Give the gun gun. Well, that's why they killed Boss Nass. Oh, did they? Yeah. I thought I stopped this. That's okay. But yeah, no. They didn't actually kill Boss Nass. But you know Jar Jar would have killed that motherfucker right there on the spot if those two damn Jedi weren't there to interfere. But then he had to use them. Yeah. Get his, get his way. <laughs> um, you, can be, you can be the Mandalorian... In Fortnite right now. Oh, yes. You get a, get a jetpack. You can... Along with Thor. So they have a... Um, so did you actually... I don't know. Did you did you actually watch the, like, event that they did on Fortnite? Like, the, the Galactus event? Did you, did you watch it play out? Nope. So, like, it plays out like you're in a match, and then this event happens, right? <laughs> Galactus shows up, destroys everything. And then, like, it goes into this whole, like, rail shooter... Like Death Star, whoa, that's like, cool. Like scene where essentially you're like trying to like you're fighting Galactus. Like all of you are in these buses like fighting Galactus, like shooting at him and stuff. It's <laughs> it's, it's kind of goofy, but it, I think it's cool that it's like you know potentially turning people onto like different styles of games and stuff. Because I mean, legit, it is just a rail shooter at that point, and it's interesting that they're right. they're they're really starting to incorporate a lot of other elements into Fortnite that isn't just like build a build, build a wall, wall snipe dude yeah get sniped yeah uh yeah i i really am trying my hardest not to be an old curmudgeon about all the Fortnite stuff cuz i think i played it for around 6 hours then i won once See, I've never won because Fortnite. yeah, like I got lucky. No one freaking saw me, and then like the last two dudes were just shooting at each other. One went down. I got up and shot him. Oh, and I was like, all right, I did it. I'm Whee! the best. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then I was like, all right, I'm done now. So I mean, Fortnite does totally like match you based on your ranks, though. Oh yeah. Oh okay. Yeah, yeah. I I did not win against good players. Okay. I'm not gonna ever say that. Okay. But okay. I, I won. Once, and then I was like, all right, I'm done now, right? That's it. You've, you've retired the champion. Like, I'm, you're the, do- I'm done. You're the best ever, <laughs> essentially. <laughs> I, I can't, I can't, I'm bad at Fortnite. I'm not good at building, Um, and that's, it's half of the game. You have to be able to build. If right. You're gonna, I mean, shooting is cool. It's a key component. I mean, it's how you kill people. But, like, if you can't build, which is interesting because it's the only game that really, like, I remember when, like, Gears of War first introduced the fact that you could, like, put up a wall in multiplayer. Do you remember that? No. Like, it was, like, Gears of War 2 or 3. You could, like, go to, like, the box, the requisition box or whatever it was, and, like, you could, like, spend points in the horde mode, and you could, like, put up walls or turrets and shit like that. And it's, like, in a shooting Hmm. game, they didn't really have that element of building yet. And I think that was, like, the first first time that I'd, I'd personally run into that. And it's just crazy that it's, like... Fortnite has really just refined that into like if you can't do this, you will you're die. bad at this game. Right. But I do like the uh I like the whole like what is it, battle royale. Oh, I like that concept. It, in some in some forms. I mean I think the Mario thirty five was interesting. I haven't personally Oh yeah. Did you play did you I, try that? I've never paid for the online service for that. Uh, <laughs> we did talk about that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, you don't want to pay for a phone game? Nope. Oh. Uh, I was really tempted for Tetris, mm. but uh, then I kept l- watching, and I was like, I'm just going to play it on my Game Boy. It's it's, te- <laughs> it's, it's, Tetris, it's Tetris, but Tetris. harder. But you got to play against people who are really good. Right. Uh, but, I mean, it, it is cool that that format can be... Um, I guess used in so many different like elements, and that somebody could be like, "Oh, y- you know that these other companies are like, oh shit, like we can do that. We can apply that to this, right? Exactly. So, you know, I'll give, oh, you know, PUBG, obviously, like rest in peace. 
um, honorable mention. But I think Fortnite was the the game that really like. Oh, it popularized it like crazy. It made it insanely huge. Yeah. Um, and I mean, you and I have played a, a bit of Warzone. Yeah. Which is like more my speed. I like the first person shooter. I definitely enjoyed better. that. I think way more than Fortnite. Mm. I like re- I like the the actual guns, being able to upgrade my guns and get right. my loadout and stuff like that. Yeah. It wasn't always so random. That's very true. I think that was probably my problem. Mm. And the goofiness. I don't know why. Like, if I'm going to shoot somebody, it's serious. Hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> like, I, got my, uh, I got my PlayStation button. Ooh! I've been waiting for the button. Yeah, dude. The button's been coming out for a while, so... We'll see. I haven't decided what to use it on yet, but, you know... You'll definitely have I'm to just, keep us informed. I'm just glad I got one, you know? Yeah, they're just as hard to get as those freaking headsets are. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. I still haven't found a damn headset. Well, I found some the on... The PS5 headsets? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I found some on Amazon, but they're like, it's $250. It's like, no, it's not. I'm not paying you that. I'm not going to do that. Nope. Can't not. do it. I mean, <laughs> accessories are weird. They roll those out in, like, waves, so you'll definitely, like, run into that at, like, a Walmart. Right. Like, I'm not in a hurry to get it. It's fine. I'll wait. Yeah. Again, most of us are super wise to scalpers, and we don't need to have that right now. You know, you could just wait a tiny bit and get it for its actual price. I'm proud of you all, by the way. Seriously. It is so cool that there are so many people not buying PlayStation 5s and Xbox Series Xs at scalper prices that they are trying to advertise for those now. It's insane that the scalpers were able to acquire so many. Dude, so many. I think at one point, one company... We're going to call them that because they call themselves that. But uh, they got 3,500 PlayStation 5s. I mean... And it's like, holy shit. It's they, just... It, it really is just too bad. And I mean, you know, that is... I guess, I guess the worst case scenario of the online retail, like, not retail market that we have now. Like, everything is just sold online first. Like, that's the first place you get it now instead of at a physical store. So it's like, you know, if they put them instead of... yeah, Obviously, in, in, right now, COVID is, is, is kind of like the, the, the thing that's fucking everything up. You can't put them right. on the store because then people wait in line. You can't have people waiting in line. You can't people have People will crowds. touch each other's faces trying to get to it first. They'll touch each other's faces with their fists. Yep, I mean... <laughs> it's an unfortunate fact, but seriously, people fight over this crap, and it is, it's absurd. Sure, I, like, yeah. I mean, I would. I, I mean, definitely wouldn't. I definitely I'd wouldn't. I like if I saw some dude just coming at me like that, I'd be like, you know what? I got better shit to do. I'll wait. You can have it. Don't fucking punch me in the head. <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm not saying I'll back down from a fight if there's a reason to fight somebody, but over a purchase no yeah yeah i'm not gonna start a fight over a video game console but right. i mean there's plenty of people that would but hey what are you gonna do you know people getting mugged and and robbed over video game consoles since the super nintendo so it's it's nothing new yeah it's just weird it's just weird to be reminded of that every time we get a new console well it's 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 strange now that the i mean the scalpers are a market. It is a different marketplace that we have to consider. So there is like, you know, the online marketplace. There's the retail marketplace. And then there is the scalper marketplace. There's, you know, right, eBay, Facebook. I, and I mean, like, it is a, unfortunately, like, if you want something bad enough. Sometimes you, you do just like, got to pay for it. Ugh. You got to pay more than <laughs> it's which just, it sucks which i think is just the craziest part because seriously if they did it at like 150 or 200 dollars more than msrp they'd sell out oh yeah but they don't man that's i mean it's all about getting as much as you can though in that but yeah at the like what was the last i think the last listing i saw for a playstation 5 was like two thousand dollars that's it, crazy right and it's like no Who's going to pay you $2,000 for a $500 machine? I mean, somebody is going to do it. I mean, there will be a handful, but it's just it's that's that's the unfortunate truth is like there are pe- there are people who just want to play with the console bad enough that they will fork out the cash and put themselves in a bad position for the form of entertainment that they enjoy the most. And I mean, that's 
that's the unfortunate, and and especially like you know we live in an age of you know fear of missing out, right? FOMO. Like if I don't get this thing <laughs> right now, I'm never gonna get it. If I don't play this game on launch, then it's then irrelevant. You right, know what I mean? Then you're like you're gonna be outclassed um, every time you try to go online. Or if something. I don't watch The Mandalorian the week it releases, it's gonna get spoiled. Like literally everything is just like right now or it doesn't matter. Um, especially true. in entertainment, and especially because we're stuck in our house, everything feels like it's in a microscope, and then, and we're like, okay, anything to distract us from how awful everything <laughs> is. I'm That's... glad the fucking election's over. Oh my gosh. I mean, whatever. Yeah. Let's not get into it. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm not going to tell anybody who I voted for. I don't, oh. ca- I don't care who won. I voted for I'm just... Kanye. Oh, shit. Me I don't too. think that's true. <laughs> it might be. You'll never know. <laughs> I, I'm not going to lie, though. I was literally like a hair away from just writing in Burt Gummer which is the guy from Trimmers because he made a campaign ad that was hilarious for the newest Trimmers movie came, that came out and writing in him as president and Bruce Campbell for bri- vice president. Mm. Not that he ever did anything, but that's who I was going to vote for. Mm. Mm. I was so close, but then I actually voted for somebody. So yeah. Yeah. Me too. I'm I just happy for... it's done now. Yeah. Like you were saying, I, I like by the pi- by the time it was finally over, I was like, just whatever, man, just give us somebody and let's move on. Let's just fucking move on with our lives. Yep. Um. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. It's it's interesting. I think I think the uh, the video game collectible like you know we talked about it last week. The Pokemon market's huge right now. Magic's doing really well. Commander Legends is you know killing it. Yep. As like, like as far as like sets that have recently been released, like Zendikar Rising came out. Zendikar Rising was the last like standard standard set that released, and that one actually did pretty well. But Commander Legends, man, there's just just everybody wants that. Everybody wants this. Well, it's I, not yeah. and because there's just so many good reprints in it. Um, I know uh, it's kind of switching subjects over to that's Magic the Gathering, but like these, the list the, is what it's called, right? Or is that what it's called? So there's the list in the. In the Zendikar Rising set boosters, there is a list of 300 cards that you can pull. And that's the oh, list. Okay. In Commander Legends, um, there's there's a couple, there's the two different main products. There's like the draft booster boxes and then the, the collector booster boxes. And in the collector ones, you can get like the extended art foils and stuff. Mm. Um, but just the standard booster boxes are, there's just so much good stuff, you know. Uh the wife and I have recently started rebuilding like some commander decks and just like kind of opening a pack here or there. And it's cool. Cause it's like one, one pack can give you enough to actually like make a little difference in your deck. And it, since we're kind of taking it slow and not buying singles, we're only using what we open. It's been pretty fun to like upgrade our decks that way. Cause it's so slow going, <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. Ah. <sighs> That does sound like fun. Sorry, I still need to teach you how to play Magic. I really do need to learn how to play Magic. We're going to make a video about it at some point. We have ideas. Yeah. They're so they're so good. Our our ideas are the best. They are the best. Dude, I had I had some good ideas. <laughs> bet. <laughs> bet what? <laughs> just, just bet they were good. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bet they were good. I uh, think that's like a Den- I think that's like a Denver thing. Maybe not. I don't know. You, it, it, I'm sure nobody will pay attention to this, but tell me if that's like a. You just say bet, like confirmed, like yo, dude, like I feel, I love that game. Bet. It's just kind of like a follow up, like, like bet me. Right. I, I don't know. You can kind of just end the sentence with that. Like it's almost like you double down on your statement. Right. <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, Wyoming people didn't have imagination, so we just had the standard English. Language. Oh, that's awful. It. <laughs> there's nothing like there's nothing like being able to communicate with each other. Yup. About efficiently. Which of the five country music stations was the darn tootinest? Uh, all of them at the same time. We call that Dude. a suicide. There's a reason why <laughs> me and my brother had to keep buying like CDs back in the day that were just the most craziest crap we could find because it was just like okay either we can listen to classic rock. You guys are just listening to, like, Faces Country. of Death on tape or something? Or just... <laughs> Seriously, it got to a point where we were like, I don't know what the fuck this is. You want to buy it? Of course I want to buy it. Because <laughs> we had Classic Rock, Country, and the Top 40. 
Ooh, the top 40. Top 40 is good. Yeah, I mean, uh, no, it's awful. I, uh, okay, I'm going to reset the camera. Okay. I mean, there were definitely days when the top 40, like, did it. But, no. I was, just I was mostly being... I know, but when it was one of three options on the radio, I'm not kidding. We had, like, I think we literally had three country stations, one classic rock, and one top 40 station. That was it. There was nothing else. And this was before the internet, so you couldn't just look up music. And man, when Napster dropped, whoo, we downloaded for days and had two albums. It was amazing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> You're like, internet out there was different. <laughs> yeah, you thought it was slow wherever the hell you live. Okay. It was dial-up plus Wyoming speed, which is minus 17. Whatever units you choose. <laughs> Whatever units. Any units you choose. Yep. 17 minus slower. Minus 17. Minus 17. <laughs> it's mathematically proven. <laughs> Don't bother trying to mathematically prove it. Just believe me. <laughs> just, just, just carry on with your lives. Yep. It's fine. You don't, you don't need to worry about that. Um, that's true. This is all true. Yeah. Yep. I know. Sorry again, Wyoming. You're just going to get a lot of flack from me. That's just the way it's going to go. I mean, I still got a bunch of friends that live there. I would, I do like going back every once in a while. Just remember the good old days. Yep. Growing up there was awesome Mm -hmm. for the most part. But uh, yeah, as an adult, when I was still there, I was like, why? (laughs) Why is this happening to me? (laughs) What did I do to deserve this? (laughs) Yep. Yeah, I don't know, man. But um, I don't know what else we got. What would... What was the other what was the other big news that we talked about? I feel like there was a well, we talked about the dudes that got arrested buying Super Mario for way too much. Oh yeah, can I see this real quick? Yeah, go for it. Uh, yeah, we were talking about 2010 versus 2020 game releases. Yeah. Uh, we didn't talk about that in the news, but me and him were talking about it just the other day. That's true. We were yeah. We talked about it. Yeah. Um you guys were there. You know what's up. <laughs> Shit. Do you remember? Uh, I, I mean, it, it, it is interesting. Black Ops came out exactly 10 years ago. Yeah, the first one. So that was like... I mean, technically, World at War was the first zombie mode, but Black Ops was the first like advertised zombie mode. Yeah. Where they're like, you, you MFers like killing zombies, huh? And everybody's like, oh my god. I get to play as JFK. Have you ever heard of The <laughs> Walking Dead? That was when that whole madness went off. Um, yep. Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. There's Assassin's Creed pretty much every year. I think at some point they decided to go to every other year. I think that was after Unity. Yes. Cause Unity then was, Didn't but, Odyssey come out as the first part of that not doing it every year? I think so. And then they were like, yeah, we need to stop just churning this crap out and actually try to innovate a little bit between titles. Yeah, and they're like, okay, cool. So let's make... Assassin's Creed Valhalla, and then Assassin's Creed, or Immortal, Assassin's Creed Immortal, Phoenix Rising, um, which, yep. it's hilarious, because some of the feedback that I've actually read is people are like, hey Ubisoft, why does this, why does Immortal run better than Valhalla? <laughs> <laughs> that was creepy. I don't, did we talk about that on the last podcast? I think we did. What? Yeah, where uh, the Valhalla CD or disc was just effed up. Like, and I have like a launch PS4 still. And that was what I was playing it on. Cause it was before I actually got a PS5 and dude, like I put it in and my PlayStation just sounded horrendous. Well, there's a, uh, there, there, there is actually, and I, I don't know if we talked about it. Maybe we did. Um, but there is a known issue right now with, um, a, a Specifically, first gen models of PS4, but other yeah. other models are having the issue where they are having trouble reading the Assassin's Creed disc. It sounds like your PlayStation is gonna like throw up or something, or it will like it's... cut out of the game at certain points. It'll be glitchy. Uh, I mean, yeah. So so don't don't think that your PlayStation's an issue. It's it kind of is, but it kind of isn't. It's it's more an issue with Assassin's Creed. Yeah. Um, which, you know, I don't know if they have a plan fixed for that, for Valhalla, but if you're on the PS4 and you're playing Valhalla and you're having issues, 
you're not alone. It's normal. It is. Yeah, just go. Don't worry, because I thought, yeah, I thought I was like, shit, I'm going to have to go buy a new PS4 right before I buy a PS5. Yep. (laughs) It's like, damn it. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Because, of course, I was using it for streaming. Uh, Uh, Yeah, I, I, I haven't played any more Valhalla. I played it the once and it freaked me out and I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm done now. I haven't played an Assassin's Creed game. I don't know, since like... I think the last one I really played was number two. See, Brotherhood was the last one for me. Yeah. That was... That game was so sick. Um, other games that came out in 2010, you know, we're doing like the 10 year, right? It's 2020. He came out in 2010. It's just kind of funny to look at the parallels. Um, Mario All-Stars on the Wii. Released it, in 2010. It got w- we released. We. <laughs> <laughs> There's some of that classic Mario, dad jokes for you. <laughs> yeah, Mario 3D All-Stars came out this year. So it's like, you know, we're starting to nail down that um, that Nintendo 10-year cycle. Oh, yeah. So at least we know in, you know, 2030, we can finally get maybe like the 3DS games or something. That'd actually be really cool. I was going to say, maybe we'll get Galaxy 2. <laughs> nah, that game's too good. They'll never re-release it. Um, also in 2010, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit released. This year, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit Remastered released. <laughs> yeah, that is so crazy. That was such a good game. It's Man. the best. It's the best racing game <sighs> oh, it's, oh. ever made. It's so good. Because seriously, like... I loved the PlayStation 2 version of it, and I especially Hot Pursuit 2 on the PlayStation 2. Mm-hmm. It was oh, it was perfect. And then the PS3 version came out of Hot Pursuit. I lost my damn mind. Well, and the fact that you could do the racer campaign and then the cop campaign. Right. It's like the, just a ton of content. Like I don't know why that isn't always the way they do it, because well, it is just so fun to both chase people down and to be chased. And you could... I, I uh, Correct me if I'm wrong. I think you can go free mode like open world in that but really it's meant the game is meant to just select the race and do the races like i think that it's w- more mission based yeah i think that was right before they did paradise well Par- paradise was burnout oh my bad uh it was right before they did um what payback no now uh, now i can't remember I most think. Wanted was the next one. It was 2013. Oh, okay. They did Most Wanted, I think, which was an open world. I was going to say, I feel... It was like Most Wanted Part 2. That was after they... I don't know. I feel like it was probably one of the last ones, though, where you could just select missions. Which was better. That was. I, the... I don't like open world racing for some reason. It just... Like, it's not bad. It's I don't want to drive so far to be like, start this race. Oh, it's 14 miles away. Hmm. Take the seven minutes it d- takes to drive there. Yeah, I mean, you, I don't know. You usually, can zip around and like transport, but either way, it's just I just want to race, right? I just want to race. I just want another burnout. <laughs> oh my gosh, burnout revenge on the PS2. Um, that, that one was. My I did jam. play burnout revenge on the PS2. I played burnout paradise hella on the 360 though. Did you? See, that was an open world one, though. Right, that, that was, like that the, was first the first big... Burnout open world one. Yeah, that one was really good. Uh, yeah, that one, I played a little bit of that one at a friend's house, but I, I never bought it. I feel like I need to get the remastered version of it, because I do love Burnout. Yeah. I just never, I just never bought Paradise for some reason. I don't know. It was a good one. Yeah. It was a good one. It's missing out. There wasn't really any other ones. I mean, there's always like a superhero game. There was a Spider-Man game, The Shattered Dimensions, that came out in 2010. But I think those those four, right, Black Ops, Brotherhood, All-Stars, and Hot Pursuit are kind of like the, 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 the really the notable. on the nose. And I mean, these are, yeah, yeah, these are like quarter four, quarter three, quarter four releases. And yeah. It's like not not a lot has changed in in, in 10 years like right. some things have but some things haven't obviously i think and then the spider-man games got good by copying batman games that's true they did they did um copy the the batman the arkham formula with the combat yep which i'm totally fine with good job insomniac yep copy the best I mean, rock steady. They like, make, like we talked except, about, except with, for Arkham Knight, that game. Fucking oh man, <laughs> fucking Arkham Knight, that was terrible. Why'd you force us to use the tank? That was dumb. That's stupid. That's so dumb. Uh, but uh, I mean, yeah, like we were saying with Breath of the Wild, you make it some something good. People got to keep making it. 
see if they can make it better. I'm fine with that. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, what do you think about the Monster Hunter movie? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Why do they keep hiring Mila Jovovich for things? Because, because, stop it. Because she'll do it. <laughs> That's true. I guess it is probably the cheapest, most recognizable name you can like buy. Well, I mean, you know, yes, is probably the the easy answer to that. I mean, she's just like, yeah, you want me to fucking kill a CG dinosaur? I mean, yeah, whatever, dude. I'll fucking I'm down. You want me to kill a CG mutant? All right, yeah, I'll do that too. I mean, yeah, if I was an actor, I wouldn't give a crap either. But you, know, you gotta get paid. But uh, I mean, dude, come on, there couldn't have been somebody better for that. I mean, M- Mila Jovovich is just the, the monster slayer, obviously. I don't know, man. Like, <laughs> maybe it's just I'm like, holding you personally responsible. <laughs> video game actress, like, she's only allowed to be in, like, those types of movies now. She's just she's so gonna be typecast. In, she's going to be in Blood Rain 5. Oh, my God. They are on, and... I think they, they're they working on 4 right now. <laughs> you bowl. That is a person's name, by the way. You bowl. Look up you bowl. U W E. Oh, I left. What is it? B O L L. That German director. We were talking about him earlier I think so, too. Yeah. He he directed a lot of a lot of really quality movies. A lot of, a lot of good stuff. Blood Rain one through three so far. Alone in the Dark one and two. That's right. They did do Alone in the Dark, which I didn't then, know they made a second one. I didn't know they made a first. The first one was bad. <laughs> and then what, what was the other one? It was uh, In the Name of the King, mm. which was the Dungeon Siege movies. The first one actually starred Jason Statham. Yeah, but then he's like, never mind, I'm bloody good at this. I'm um, never mind, I'm gonna <laughs> go be in a Guy Ritchie movie or yeah. something. Summit. <laughs> you like tags? <laughs> <laughs> the yeah. hell are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's that's his whole shtick. Uh, yeah, but just, and I'm not gonna lie, I love the Resident Evil movies. Mm, so does Alicia. Because I am definitely a person that loves shit movies. Like, yeah. I love them. I can't do the campy thing. I don't know. I think I think I grew up watching too many bad horror movies, and, like, I didn't mm. like it. Well, that <laughs> I was like, sense. I wasn't, like, scared. I was just like, this is See, and I, dumb. Right? Like, it's not, like... I, I, and I grew up on Trimmers. Uh, which is actually a pretty quality horror movie. Yeah, no, Tremors 1 was great. Kevin Bacon? So good. Dude, Kevin Bacon. Yeah, yeah I mean, Bacon. Kevin Bacon. Kevin Bacon. Bacon. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> that really distracted me. Um, no, <laughs> but uh, then I also Kevin grew, Bacon will do that. I also grew up on MST3K, or Mystery Science Theater 3000. Yeah, 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 I did a lot of that. I mean, just, and, uh, I mean, but that's different, because... You're not watching the bad movie. The I mean, bad movie is playing. Like, the bad movie is on, but that's not why you're watching it. You're not watching it for the movie. You're watching it for the jokes. Eh. I guess so, yeah. Like, you wouldn't, watch, mean, you wouldn't watch that movie if they weren't telling the jokes. What's funny is I actually have a lot of those movies, and I've seen them before I saw them on MST3K. Okay, you like because I loved those like fifty movie packs. They're like it's go to <laughs> go to bed. <laughs> it's like fifty sci fi classics. I not <laughs> one like, of them is a classic. <laughs> never, never, ever, and I love it. And yet somehow aliens from the dark planet. They're always like the <laughs> worst fucking names, too. right? Uh, Book shoot. of Doom, like just things that are just like arbitrarily like. The overhead projector that could tell the future. Ah! You're like, that's a Goosebumps book. <laughs> <laughs> and like, the time... No, wait. The daytime stood still. Okay, now that's a good one. That's a good movie. No, that's the day the earth stood still is a oh, good that's one. A good, yeah, yeah, that is a good the one. The time... Or the the day time stood still is a bad movie. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that hour, the time stood still... Was this movie? Because you that, watched it, and you wasted this, your time. That's this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Except time doesn't stand still; it just goes slower and more awful. And by the end of it, you have a headache, and you're like, "What the fuck was I doing?" <laughs> <laughs> and for that, we are sorry. I'm not sorry. Bringing up our sponsor, Advil. No, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Do you have a headache? 
Advil's here to help. Do you hear that? Swallow six to ten of these and you'll be all right. Do you hear that low drone in the background? Always. (laughs) (laughs) That's just your conscience being suppressed. (laughs) Help me. Help me. (laughs) Stop what you're doing. (laughs) Oh, my goodness. I think we've covered everything that we talked about in the news, though. Yeah? I think so, yeah. I mean, that's that's pretty impressive. That is pretty impressive. I mean, that's kind of... I think that's the way we're going to start, like, doing this, right? So we're going to... We have the, the news segment where we're idiots and we try to be funny. I think you mean geniuses. Sure. <laughs> Synonymous. Depending on your opinion. Um, And then... During the podcast, we can kind of flesh out the discussion on, on our opinions on said blah, 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 Viewers, do you agree? Do you, all, viewer? <laughs> Fanta. <laughs> Are you watching me? Oh. Uh, it is so loud. It is really loud. It's Burns too loud. Soul. It scares me. It's going to scare the viewer. Right. Um. In advance. And really too late. We're sorry about the alarm. Are you still there? <laughs> uh, but yeah, hopefully next time we'll also have that whole having to get up and cut the video will cease. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're going to look into some new equipment, some new uh, stuffs. Yeah. And, we're going to uh, keep working on, uh, on the podcast format and the, the news segment. So if you have any... Uh, you know, suggestions, suggestions, say, say it fast, suggestions. Su- suggestions. It's like suggestions. a lot of S. Try to say it without an extra S. Su- suggestions. Suggestions. <laughs> suggestions. Suggestion. Because it's a T, it's not a, whatever. Um, hmm. What? Suggestion. <laughs> <laughs> this is some quality stuff. This is going to get a, uh, whatever... Epsi Pri- Pulitzer Nobel Peace Prize. Mm-hmm. And Keep going. <laughs> yeah, no, this is great. And this is the Martian yep. Manhunter Medal. Yep. The Martian Manhunter Medal. <laughs> dot com. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, well, thanks for tuning in. I mean, uh, 98.7 every week on your station here in Giuseppe, New York, the Level 7 News. <laughs> The uh, live from the blanket fort. It's level seven news. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. The blanket fort. Yep. We gotta bring up the blanket fort more. We do gotta. We gotta make an actual blanket fort, and then like use it as the intro, like zooming into the blanket fort. We're like, all right, it's the news. Welcome to the news. Yep. So yeah. All right. Well. Yeah, uh, we really do appreciate you guys being here, and uh, we're gonna. Talk about the the doohickey. Oh yeah 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 yeah. We're gonna so so Champion's Path is like a pretty big deal with all all you Pokemon peeps. So we've got some extra we got this extra here play mat. Um, you know, just trying to get some some people involved and commenting and such. So, you know, tell us your favorite Pokemon in the comments and why. And uh, you can win this here play mat, and we'll we'll ship it to you if need be, or you can yeah. come get it from me if you can find me. That's the tricky part. I'm really, really good at hiding. Yeah, and fast. You mm-hmm. can run for days. It's ridiculous. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, well, nighty night. All right, bye. Bye. And we need a send-off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be the send-off. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>